Like growing up, I always had people ask me like, what do you think about 9-11? I'm like, that's, it's a terrible event. Like why would you ever think I would think anything else, you know? 9-11. 9-11. Tragic. It shouldn't have happened. It's a terrible thing to have happened. Uh, and everyone who passed away because of it, uh, that leaves a huge impact on their families and everyone who comes on after them. But I, I called it that term specifically because there was a huge shift in, in the treatment of Muslims after that incident. It's tragic that it happened for both parties, like for the Muslims that were not involved and had to deal with it, for the people who lost lives, and it's just tragic all over. Now there's a stereotype that Muslim are terrorists. And that's where it all started with the media and, and stuff like that. That's how Islamophobia was burst, basically. It was like the start of everybody would literally hated Muslims. It makes me sad because whatever happened does not reflect Muslims. It was just like literally a group of 10 people or so um, that claim to be Muslim, that identify as Muslims, and because of them, we've all been painted with a brush. Unfortunately, like, we paid the biggest price for that day. Sometimes I feel like, as if we are the one we did it. Like, uh, even, even let's say, if somebody else did it, you know, and they were like, called themselves Muslims. But why are you gonna blame me for it, you know? That is a turning point for Muslims. Sometimes I was targeted because of that one incident. I think by association because it became Muslims versus us in the world. So um, although I, I, I couldn't, I didn't feel the media effects because I, I'm not from um, the country that I was accused of um, carrying out the um, terrorist attack but just because I identify and I look um, just in terms of my identity and being Muslim, it definitely has affected the way other people who um, probably weren't there but are scared for their lives and associate that with me just because of my identity and how. I feel like it's sad that all these people lost their lives, but at the same time, I don't think that one event should represent our whole entire religion. When I became Muslim, I didn't think of 9-11. That wasn't part of my thought process. I just just did it. It was afterwards, people kind of brought it to my attention or I noticed like when it wasn't like uh, September 11th, people would treat me differently um, or they'd be extra nice to me, <laughs> which like people, they just kind of act a little bit abnormal, either to say like, oh, we're holding you and your kind responsible, or um, I want to show you like crazy amounts of kindness so you don't feel bad for today. But I'm not gonna feel bad about it. There's so many documentaries that were made about what happened. So I don't feel bad. I don't take on that responsibility. I'm not gonna apologize for something that had nothing to do with me and I had no involvement in. And at this point, Islam had no involvement in it either. The war that happened afterwards was, obviously as we know now, there was, it was under false pretenses. And so, again, I think, I think it, wars, such attacks like that could be prevented with just more education, enlightenment, so getting people out of ignorance and just sort of understanding the commonalities. It really changed the narrative for all the Muslims around the world. And it had a positive effect as well because many of the con many many people converted and accepted Islam. Many people uh, went through the Quran, and I personally personally know people um, that accepted Islam because they bought the Quran after the attack and after hearing all these terrible things about Muslims. They were like, "It's not possible." How is it possible that a religion could tell the people like to do such violence in, you know, killing innocent people? This is nonsense because, oh, God is a source of love, you know, love and peace. And how come 
So, and these people knew Muslims too, and they were growing up with Muslims, so they're like, what is this? So she, that person I know, she bought the Quran, she read it, and she converted. And you know what? There are five kids, and four kids out of five uh, converted to Islam. Mashallah, and they're, they're among like most beautiful Muslim people I know. So yeah, and it, it has like I think a worldwide effect honestly. Many people are converting everywhere since then.